Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So I made three free SVGs. You can find them at the bottom of the blog post. And today I'm going to be showing you how to take my Adventure Awaits SVG, which is super cute for fall, and make this adorable mountain sign. I love it. A few days ago, I made that adorable resin bear keychain. And I knew that he would be perfect on a mountain sign. My dad's from Colorado. I went to high school in Colorado. I spent a lot of my growing up years there. And so this to me just reminds me of the fall colors and the leaves and the trees. I really wanted to make this little sign. Of course, I love anything that combines resin and Cricut. Those are my two jams. I think y'all have figured that out by now. So as soon as I saw this little bear, I knew he needed to be on a mountain sign. Luckily, he's a very beginner level project. So if you've never done resin before, go check out that tutorial. It's five, 10 minutes long to do the actual project. You can totally make it and then come back over here and make this sign, which is also a beginner level project. If you have a Cricut Maker, Explorer 2, 3, really anything but a joy, anything that can cut out a larger um, decal, you can make this. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna go ahead and jump in, get started.
All right, so now that Cricut Design Space is all set, we are going to get started on actually cutting. I've got my materials here and we will see how these work. I've got my little resin bear and I think he will show up well on this while working with this, but I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna have to see once this is all together if the colors aren't too similar, you know. So, Let's see. See what we've got cooking. I'm going to go ahead and cut our first layer out of our whoop, Sports Flex Iron On. I love to do iron on on wood. So this will go directly on the wood and then we will put our adhesive foil, which will be the words over top. So I'm going to go ahead and select Sports Flex Iron-On for the first letter, letter layer. Since it is iron-on, we need to make sure that it is mirrored. So this is on our mat upside down. And the design in Cricut Design Space is mirrored. The shiny carrier sheet should be down and we're cutting into the back of our material here. I think those are very similar colors. Push comes to shove, we can always cut a different layer for the base. I just, just don't know. They'll be different enough. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit go. background layer is pretty uh, basic, so this should go fairly quick for this layer. A little resin bear. I love how this guy turned out. So now for our second layer, we are going to select our adhesive foil. Perfect. This will be shiny side up because we are cutting words out of the top here. Very similar to a vinyl, but it's just an adhesive foil instead. Thank <laughs> you. 
Adventure awaits. So pretty. All right. So now we're going to weed this baby. So we're going to go ahead and put computer away. We are done with design space. Perfect. Dun, 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 dun. And now we are going to go ahead and come in here. Wait, this bad boy. Okay, that went away this part. Ta-da! All right, we've got all our weeding done. So now we are going to go ahead and put these on our sign. Start by taking them off the cut mats because don't need that. Not sure what happened here, but because it was like this when I pulled it off the cutting mat, but it seems to have a little scratch right in the vinyl there. Maybe a fold, because it's all the way through. I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. I don't want to recut it just for that. So we're just going to see if it transfers to the final sign or not. So since we are working with an iron-on for our bottom layer, I'm going to go ahead and grab my easy press and we will heat it up and then we will put it on our, our wood. Let's push this guy all the way back. Move my computer. Dun, 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 dun. This is going to be so cute. If I do say so myself, here's the question. I'm going to have to heat this more than once. Or will my easy press cover the entire thing in one go? I think the answer is I'm going to have to heat it more than once. That's okay. So cute. Oh, yes. I think he's going to be perfectly fine. Not sure if the bear's going to go on that side or this side, though. I think he's supposed to go over here, headed into the mountains. All right, so I'm going to grab my easy press and hit. Heat it up. Mm 
タンタラランお wish they made these cords just a little bit longer because I always have to get a special extension cord. All right, let's let that baby heat up. Actually, I'm going to do a test run real quick. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do this. Probably bottom left and then top right. Probably do it. All right, we'll let that heat up. All right, so Cricut says 315 for 15 seconds for Sports Flex on corkboard. Now, this is wood, so we're going to try it this way, and then if we need a little more heat, we'll add a little more heat. This is kind of redundant since we're doing wood here, but just in case that iron goes over the edges onto my desk, this will protect it. Let's just make sure everything's centered. little bit of heat resistant washi. I'm just going to tape it down a smidge. So it doesn't go flying all over the place. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do this top right corner first. I'm just gonna pick them up, place it down. I'm not applying a lot of pressure, just constant pressure. Iron over to, to this side. Oh, he is really bubbly. All right, we're going to lift that up. Scrape it down. All right. I'm just adding a little more heat to this bottom, but that might have been a bad idea. No, we're fine. All right, we're gonna scrape it. Make sure he's really on there. Never really seen it bubble up all the millions of times I've done iron on on wood. So maybe that's because of the kind of paint I use to paint my, my blank here. Use my brayer. And now I'm going to go ahead and leave this to completely cool and then we will cold peel it and then add our adhesive foil. I couldn't remember the word adhesive foil. <laughs> All right, give it about three, four minutes. Okay, so while this cools down, that's actually already pretty cool. I'm gonna move it off to the side. I'm gonna get my transfer tape on my foil so that it's ready to go. I'm ripping it. It's okay. It works even if it's ripped. There we go. 
good as new. This is the end of the roll, so there's a little piece of tape there. There we go. Goodness, that was harder than normal. Goodness gracious, this does not want to participate. Okay, so I'm going to lay it out. Perfect. And then smooth it on. that can go wrong will go wrong problem project. I probably shouldn't have said that. I probably jinxed myself for this last bit, but this part right here, right over the eyes where that tear was. All right, let's see if that was good enough. I think I'm gonna try from the top down. That way, uh, hopefully I can avoid that rip. Usually once you kind of get it on there at the beginning, the rest sticks, but not always. watching, making sure everything's pushed down because you don't want to tear anything. Alright. More. 90 degrees full pullback you can do, the better. At least that's what I find. wide letter, that's the problem. Now we've got our curly letter at the bottom here. Just keep going slow and pulling it back. Pushing it down. You've got it all uncovered. Whoa, 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 whoa. End of the end of the S. End of the S. This is not a drill. Okay. 
There we go. All set. And if you ever need to take a fingerprint as a crafter, a piece of foil will do it. I have put so many fingerprints on this stuff. All right, let's see. Let's see if this is bonded. Oh God, not even a little bit. All right, give me a second. Heat it back up. Scrape it back down. Hot peel is better. Okay, so that worked pretty good, but you can see, especially over here, this whole section, I must not have hit with the heat enough to really bond it that second time. And we cannot go over the iron on with our easy press without a protective sheeting. And if I re-stick this to it, I'll have to re-get it off. So I grabbed a few sheets of freezer paper that will protect it. And I'm heating up my baby easy press and we are going to just spot those things that need to be pushed down. Typically, if you're going over bare wood, it bonds fine. But I knew when I painted this with acrylic craft paint and not like spray paint, sometimes it has a hard time bonding. So there's always a workaround. But if push came to shove and I really couldn't get this to bond, I would literally just flip this part over repaint it and go over it with a vinyl instead of an iron on. But typically, a little extra love, you can get anything to work. So we're gonna use our mini easy press. I just set it to the third setting here. And we're going to swipe from the inside out and then kind of around. And I do wanna hit up here just a smidge too. Make sure when you're doing this, you don't leave your easy press in any one spot for too long. We also need to hit that right there. Heat it all up, then take this off and we're gonna use our brayer and our hand, just don't burn yourself, to smooth this into all the cracks. All right, just waiting for this to heat up and we'll get started. Oh, speak of the devil. All right, so I've got two sheets of freezer paper here because I really don't want this to burn. And again, I'm just gonna come from the outside down. See how the freezer paper isn't moving? That means it's heating up the glue underneath. Put that top. Smooth the 
outside. Okay, that worked pretty good. Bond it. This side needs done a little bit more. Oh no, I put it on my transfer tape. All right, I'm just gonna take the top piece and I'll deal with the rest of that in a second. All right. Just activating that glue. That's it. Oh. Smidge too soon. There we go. Perfect. Now, turn this off. Fix this. Got it fixed. So let's go ahead and get it on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice the side of this off. Got a little too much transfer tape. Honestly, this entire thing is just so good today. Take two. Alright. Now, this highlight goes right over this mountain and that is how we will align it. So I'm going to lay this down. Perfect. Down. Yep. Again, go from the center. I was worried about the colors, but y'all, that looks awesome. All right, now let's take off the transfer tape. Low so that we don't peel up the paint and we don't peel up our iron on. Looking good. Low and steady. thinking I don't need this transfer tape anymore, but I'm actually doing another project right after this that I could use this for. Transfer tape usually works for at least a few transfers. No reason to waste it. Just go slow. And I want to go upwards on the trees so that I don't accidentally tear break any of the little branches. There we go. So now moment of truth. How's the bear look? Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to put him like right there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's 
so cute. I wonder if I could put like a reflective mirror paint or something under him to help him be a little brighter. Or maybe I could put like a, some pot dots on him, raise him up a little. A little bit of three dimensional. I don't know. I don't know, but I love him. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to see what I think about permanently attaching him. If I'm just going to put some UV resin on there or if I'm going to pop him up a little, I'm not sure. And then you'll come back for the final shots. So cute. Okay. So I've decided that with everything that's gone wrong today, if I try to add a backing to the spare of any kind, surely that will destroy him. So I'm just going to use some super glue to add him to our sign. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my bear. Let's see what this says. It says... Apply glue to one surface, press together for 15 seconds, replace cap. Okay. That's what we can do. So I know I want him right in a straight line, I think with his front paw, even with that E. So I'm going to add a little bit on his paws. on his feet, little on his body. Now let's get him lined up and pressed in place, making sure not to glue our fingers down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Oh, he's so cute. Little bear walk through the mountains. All right, I'm gonna go put my new little fall sign up after I cap my super glue. And then we'll see how he looks. All right, he is all finished. I love how it looks. Honestly, I wasn't sure exactly where to display it, but I have this little butler's pantry and he goes perfectly with my larger um, display board that I put all of my cheese balls and decorative things on for the holidays since they're similar shapes. So I just kind of popped them up here on top of all my seeds for the garden. <laughs> and I think he looks really cute here. I will give you all some close up looks, but I really hope you liked this project. You could completely make him without the bear, but I think the bear adds just little je ne sais quoi, little something extra. So if you liked this project, like, comment, subscribe, do the hula, eat a cheese ball. I don't know. Have fun. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>